I've asked myself numerous times, am I strong enough? Am I smart enough? Am I a good enough leader? Is my vision big enough to attract the type of people that can help me get there? I think it's smart to listen to it. What I don't think is smart is to feed into it. I was born in Englewood, New Jersey, but I moved to Tampa when I was around four, so Tampa is home for me. My name is Stephanie Rodriguez, and Chris is my wife. It started as, you know, passion, not passion project, but she had always done social media marketing, digital marketing for our martial arts academy. And we had crews around the same time that she opened the agency, which is exactly when the pandemic hit. So it was kind of out of necessity. And then all of a sudden it just exploded. A lot of entrepreneurs have read the book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. I had a blue collar family and a white collar family. My parents divorced when I was three years old. What I will tell you is that both families showed me that I did not want to have a boss. Uh, from a very young age, I knew that entrepreneurship was the way that I wanted to go. Uh, my name is Darren Rodriguez, and I'm the operations manager here at GrowPro. Been working here about three years. Uh, how many people when we started? It was about, say, three or four people, and now we're up to 18. I describe Chris. Um, there's a lot of things that I could say about her, all good. Uh, I'd say driven, focused, determined, helpful. Um, when she sets her eyes on something, I know 100% it's getting done and it's going to be follow through. And I think it's felt throughout the company that if we have a goal, then we're going to crush it no matter what. My name is Ocean and my role here at GrowPro Agency is I'm Chris's personal assistant. I'm also assisting on the marketing team and uh, the administrator with HR. Chris is a mentor, she's a teacher. Um, I feel like she's very passionate and uh, that's contagious to her team. So I feel like it helps us all really push ourselves to, to grow and um, you know, go beyond our comfort zone. The biggest obstacle for me has always been self-doubt. It's been the six inches between my ears that have been the biggest hurdle to overcome. If you're in a digital marketing agency and you're trying to figure out how to take things to the next level, I'd like to invite you to an event that I've got coming up. First learned about Josh Nelson and the Seven Figure Agency by getting targeted with one of his ads for his book, The Seven Figure Agency Roadmap. It was shortly after COVID hit. We had lost about 30% of our agency clients. At that time, we had you know, grown to a, a pretty solid agency. We were doing about $30,000 a month, and then we took that huge hit. And we had built that just really from my own intuition and understanding of building a brick and mortar business. We had very little systems. It was a completely remote team. And I was really looking for some guidance and a mentor to help me get through COVID, which really impacted service-based businesses like this jiu-jitsu school that we're in. If you've got someone that's on a fixed salary, you divide by 170. First impression of seven-figure training in the group is that this is exactly where I needed to be. The community alone, the network alone, to know that there are hundreds of other people that are going through the same exact thing that you are is, is very comforting. What I love about the seven figure training is that if you have a question, there is a video training or an SOP document or somebody in the group that can instantly help you with that. Most of the marketing agencies that are inside of seven figure have what we call legacy agencies where they work with doctors, chiropractors, dentists, restaurants, gyms, we never had that. Um, so the biggest internal struggle was taking the lessons of operating a brick and mortar martial arts school, taking the lessons of being an online coach and consultant and trying to make that work in the agency world. So that was really the biggest struggle is that I had zero experience running an agency. And when most people are shifting to a niche agency, they've already had experience with running a legacy. Yeah, you know, hindsight's 2020, and I, I think, uh, you know, making any changes could potentially mean that I don't end up where I'm at now, and I'm really happy with where I'm at now, but 
You know, I preach as a coach and a consultant that you need a mentor. And I've had some really amazing mentors. But when I started GrowPro, I didn't have a mentor specific to the agency. And I would have found Josh Nelson a lot sooner. I truly believe you need to have mentors for the different areas of your life. Joining Seven Figure has really helped us become more organized in terms of our systems and processes. If you want to scale, you have to have systems and processes in place. And what is so great is that everything is provided for you in an amazing portal. You click a button and you have access to an SOP that you can copy in your own Google Drive and edit it so it makes sense for you. So having those resources really allowed us to become a lot more organized. Could I have made it on my own without Seven Figure Agency? Yes. It just would have taken a lot longer. I feel like Josh has helped turn this marathon somewhat into a sprint.